the general perception of teenagers is really negative. Newspapers always seem to have a bad impression of us. And the impression adults have about us doesn't help the situation either. I find that the youths of today have no basic manners. No please, thank you or excuse me. Young people are always hanging around bus stops in their hoodies and I find that really intimidating. None of them work hard at school and they don't want jobs either. But appearances can be deceiving. In this film, we want to alter the public's perception of teens. Us teens are not all yogs who hang around bus stops being a nuisance to adults. Instead, we are merely hanging around with our friends, waiting to take the bus home from school to help our families out when we get there. This is my girlfriend! <laughs> no! Something special. Just my mom asked me to get some groceries for my nan on the way home. Us teens are not all lazy like everyone perceives us to be. Instead, we like to play sports with our friends and work together in a team. There are so many things teenagers can do in their community to make a better impression. You might be walking through your local park and see some litter that has landed onto the floor and put it in the bin, therefore making their community look much tidier. Donate to your local charity shop. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, I'd like to donate. Yeah, that's fine, that's brilliant. Thanks a lot. See ya. But what do the adults say? Here's what a local neighbourhood officer thinks about teens in the community. My name's PC Michael Woods and I'm a neighbourhood officer. I'm not an emergency response officer like driving in the cars to the 999 calls. I'm involved in all the long-term problems in this small area here. What could young people do to change the negative stereotype that exists of them? Um, often groups of them hang around at night because they've got nowhere else to go. It's a case of just working with them and saying, look, you know, do you mind perhaps going on to the park or something like that? You can talk as loud as you want there and you won't disturb all the local residents. So are we all bad? Of course young people aren't bad at all. I deal with lots of young people that do lots of good things. Um, there's a group of people that, in, that have been involved with renovating the local park. That's just one example uh, of work that kids do, so of course they're not all bad. But how can teenagers get more involved in their local community? My name's Sue and I'm a volunteer advisor here at Volunteer Action Leicestershire. Uh, and my job really is to work with organisations that need volunteers and potential volunteers. Are there any particular activities young people can get involved in? Good examples of opportunities that uh, younger people can get involved in are conservation opportunities, going out and doing some gardening. If there are no opportunities for younger people, then what can be done about it? Um, keep an eye out on the website and, and local news articles. You do need to be proactive though and go out into your community and ask an offer. What can we do to find out more about this? Okay, so if people can't come along to a drop-in then they can also always look at the website and it's a website that you can actually put in the area that you live and the areas that you're interested in and the search engine will show you the opportunities that are out there. Finally, we want to tell you how we as individuals are going to make a change. I pledge to raise money for charity. I pledge to pick up any litter I see. I pledge to help out in my classroom so at least the teachers can have a good impression on me. I pledge to be a good friend. I pledge to help my parents in doing chores at home. I pledge to help my grandparents in any way I can. I pledge to never say a bad word about anybody in the school day. The little changes everybody can make will help to turn the negative perception of teenagers around. So, whatever you do, Make sure you be the change you want to see in the world.